fundamentally, I think this election will not change anything. Uh, the medias uh, in the West and in Israel also, they try to convince us that if Netanyahu is, goes away, there will be a change, a turn in the policy. But I don't think so. The, the left, who is uh, the party who did the ethnic cleansing, who did the war in 67, who annexed Jerusalem, uh, who conquered the, the Golan Heights, and uh, who signed the, the Oslo Agreement. So we, and we saw uh, uh, the left uh, prime ministers like Rabin, Perez, Ehud Barak do the same policy, that is to say colonization, occupation, and uh, no Palestinian state. So this is uh, just a political game inside the Israeli politi uh, uh, class, political class. And I don't know what will be the output because it's very hard to say right now. But for, for, for the Arabs, for the Palestinians, for the external policy, nothing will change. Well, I think uh, uh, Israel uh, is not interested by a huge war. But uh, Israel is interested uh, to implement a kind of te te low tension, so to keep its population inside on the, uh, I don't know, the pied de guerre, okay? To, to be always, you know, to create this tension that the interior front would, uh, would be maintained, because if there is peace or the, there would be almost civil war inside, but I, uh, I, I think Israel would be would not do a war against Iran, but would it, it would like to make a war by proxy. But with the Hezbollah, I don't think uh, also Israel would like to avoid the war because he knows, uh, and we, we have seen 13 years of almost uh, quietness. It means that uh, because we know that the Hezbollah can struck very heavily and dangerously.